we gonna get to the fun part? Yeah, it's Christmas time, man. Christmas time. It's Christmas time. I grab a box, you grab a box. Yep. Wait, before we open these boxes, we should explain why we're going with four engines and not one. Before we modify, it'll be 26 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the idea is four engines, one engine at each wheel, powering each wheel individually. We know this creates a ton of problems, but uh, it'll be fine. I feel like this, this is the best one. That is the box, okay. This is the box. Four torque converters. Oh, <laughs> I think there might be something else. Nice. Four torque converters. Nope, nope, four torque converters. Oh my. So is it still a one wheel peel if there are four of them on one go-kart? Deep thoughts. Four wheel peel. Four wheel peel. We done graduated. No more one wheel peel. Oh, there goes the bearing. That's important. It'll be fine. Ooh. What do you think is in there? It's box and box. And now look. Seat. And a seat. That's oh, good. just like the uh, one the, on the uh, American, American Express. Express. This really is like Christmas, though. It's the same same feeling. I don't know what feeling that is. I don't know if that's like a... There's a name for that feeling, like that Christmas morning feeling when you're a kid. But it's a... It's a good feeling. All right. Can I what? Open Can I open that one up? Do you want to open it? No, I'll let you open <laughs> They delivered us some air to breathe. Some air. Some Texas air. Yep, high performance air from Texas. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> They're the uh, pots. I guess so we have options? I guess so. Chocolate. Or we could put two pods on each. Air filter adapter. And a jet kit. Carb jet. What you got, what you got? Headers. There we go. And I see engine plates. Engine plates. And brake drums. Okay, one engine is loud enough. Can you imagine? Oh, I already four. thought about that. I already thought about that. It's gonna sound like a bunch of angry bumblebees. Oh, you wanna show them the, uh, the pipe we have too? Sure. I got several different sizes. Hopefully we don't need the half inch for the frame, I didn't think, I thought since four engines we'd want a beefier frame. So I got one inch and I got three quarter inch, 20 feet of each, and then the half inch. I was thinking the half inch would be good for the seat. So the 670 is right shell. Yep. And we're gonna kind of use it as a rough. A template. Yep. Because we're building this bad boy from scratch. All right. I'm thinking, I mean, the frame is pretty simple. We added that center bar on that one. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. For Which I think, I think we're going to do the center bar on this one too. But basically, we have the front axle here. We have the front pipe here. And then we weld on two other pipes. This will be the length of the go-kart. And then we have another pipe on the back for the rear. And then we, later on, we don't have to do it now, but later on we weld on, you know, the front piece, which I'm gonna have to talk to my buddy on using this pipe bender. Same thing on the rear. And I would like to run a single Pipe going down the center just for some extra support. We weld the, uh, the bolts that we're gonna pick up. And the front, we are going to need, probably gonna have that half inch pipe cut and riding in between there with a bolt. Yep. Right there. and. One of those bolts that we were talking about coming off here. 
I'm gonna draw a directly front view. This is the end of the bolt, and we're gonna weld a backing plate, kinda almost triangular shaped, and then right on top of here, we're gonna have engine mounts. Those are for the bolt holes for the engine and stuff. And then our wheels and sprocket will slide right on there and we'll have a chain going right to the torque converter and all that stuff. I think we're gonna need to put in a steering dampener, which all it is is a shock absorber to help take up some of that insane torque steer that we're gonna have. Somewhere around there, we'll have the, uh, yeah, I'm like the teacher at the chalkboard, man. Okay. <laughs> Today, we are gonna talk about torque steer on a go-kart. Burnouts are good, okay? Burnouts are good, okay. So what, what are we doing? We're gonna air up a tire. <laughs> yeah. Side note, irrelevant to this build, but we got a flat tire in the 670. So, uh, we're gonna do the good old fashioned. Taylor's calling. Ooh, Let's see how we doing. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? I'm in the mini. Of course you are. I forgot, I forgot how bumpy it was. That's what she said. So you're gonna man the lighter? Yep. Okay. Don't try this at home. Right. Talking to you and you. Fail. I think it's the material we're using. Yeah. The lighter fluid stuff? Not volatile enough. No. Oh, gotcha. There are links to all the parts we've unboxed today in the description of this video. Are, are, you, are you ready for this? Or four of them. Yep. Here we go. Oh, she's a predator. There she is, buddy. I, I really love how... They're portable, bud. Carry on, dude. We could take a trip somewhere and buy a go-kart. Needs an engine. We got one as a carry-on. Check it out. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we need to take one of our wheels and go to the store and buy some bolts, right? We don't need just the wheel. We just need the bearing. Oh, sweet. We went to the stow and bought our, uh, what are these, 5 eighths by 8 inch? Right? Something like that? Well, we got two different sizes. We got the 8 inch and we got the 6 inch. Okay just so we can have options. Yeah. Got a bunch of washers, got a bunch of nuts, got lock nuts, so we have options. The head of this bolt fits inside of it perfectly. Nice. Boom. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah, we decided to go with the one inch just because it's gonna be a little bit stronger than the three quarter. Are we just gonna copy the basic dimensions of this one then? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I really don't want to go any shorter. I, I want it to be about the same because it works for us. Yeah. 48 inches. Nice. Four, four foot exactly. Good. That makes it easy. Yeah. It's going to be on the outside 19 and a half inches. I've already been putting this thing up on two wheels. True. Yeah. Let's call it 20 inches then. That's fine. 20 inches it is. Okay. Sounds good. Let's so, get cutting. Um, four foot. Yep. Look at you, man. What is that? The best saw ever the, for metal. The best saw ever for metal. For metal. Yeah. Other than a chop saw, we gotta buy a chop saw, dude. Oh, wait a minute. What are you so excited about? Ah. Oh, noise. This is what we need right here. Yeah. <laughs> is it yours? No, but I want one like it. Oh, so it's Russ's? It's Russ's. That's cool. Hey Russ, can I borrow your tool? Sure, buddy. Ah. Thanks, man. <laughs> So 
I got all the pipe cut, I cleaned up the ends, and now we have the rough frame laid out on the floor here. We're looking at about 17 inches wide from inside to inside, right? And what, four feet plus two inches in length from outside to outside. Um, we're gonna tack it with our little flux core welder here because it's rainy, so we're working here. Don't have the welder from the shop we usually work at, and that one is out of gas. And it's Saturday, so. It'll be fun. Dude, it's blue skies out there. Yeah, we're just gonna like tack it, right? Yeah, yeah. Good, let's uh, get to it. Sounds good. Is this, am I, are my eyes deceiving me? Are you serious, dude? I didn't do it. Are you serious? That's a borrowed welder. Yikes. It's been a, it's been a while since I used this one. I don't know if I've ever used this one, honestly. I'm spoiled, I've never used a non-gas welder. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've been spoiled by the gas welder myself. So far, not, not impressed by flux core welding. Yeah. So in a perfect world, we'd have the welder that we usually use with gas, but sometimes you can't get gas, and this is all we have. And the penetration seems to be pretty good. So we're gonna ride with this. It'll be fine. All right, man, so we got her all welded up. What's next? Um, I'm thinking the uh, rear spindles. Yep. And uh, then we got to figure out something for the front. Since this was such a straight cut, I hope. <laughs> you want to weld it just like that? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What okay. do you think? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this is going to be so bad. I'm gonna get this crooked as can be because the chop saw didn't cut it straight. You get it? Ugly. So we have a new plan for the rear spindles. Right after I finished welding, uh, he was like, I have a better idea which is to use the eight inch bolts and basically drill out some nuts to be able to slide it down there so we can basically weld in two places uh, making it more sturdy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive the bolt into the pipe to like that point. We're gonna drill a couple of, what do you call them, rosette holes and we're gonna weld this nut to the bolt and then when we drive it in we're going to tack weld there and there through the pipe to the head of there and then we're going to weld this nut there at the end so it's going to have nice it ain't going to go nowhere yep that's the plan and it's going to be centered up it's a win-win that's true yeah buddy You got it? Yeah. Nice. So. All right, let's uh, throw some wheels on it. Well, let's let it cool off first. Let's let it cool off first. One of these wheels are gonna be turned around. Yeah. The other way. This side is gonna have the sprocket on the outside. I don't see any frame flex. Good. Eh, no, I think it's the tires. You know what we could do? What's we that? can put just, just for picture purposes only. We can put the bolts 
in and put the front tires on. Hey man. Hey man. What's up? Going for a ride, man. Yeah, it won't have any camber or else the uh, engines will also have to have camber. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so ridiculous. But she is high off the ground. All right guys, so it's late, we're done for the night. Uh, and that's it for this video. We unboxed all the wonderful parts from Go Power Sports. Links in the description to all these parts. Um, we built a rough frame, basic frame, and mounted the rear wheels. So let us know what you think of the build so far. I think it's going to be wicked. It's going to have, it's gonna be the GTR, the Nissan GTR of go-karts. The Godzilla of go-karts. Aren't Nissan GTRs lower to the ground than this thing? A little bit. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check Ike out at Isaac It'll Be Fine on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> it lands so rough. We're gonna bend the axle. We're gonna. Oh, we're gonna do something. Yeah. Poor girl. Oh my gosh. Oh no.